Welcome, guys. Oh, yeah. Why is there no webcam? What is going on? Hey, guys, welcome to this video. And sorry about the mess behind me. I've just recently started redoing my room. I've got a brand new desk, which, um, if you want, I can put a little clip of the after product. Um, and I'm just too fucking lazy to fix the rest of it right now. But. So I wonder if you guys have ever ran into the issue where I have, where you go to launch OBS and or go live, and then all of a sudden your webcam is not working. So today I want to show you a couple little tricks to fix that. And hopefully so you know some little tricks that you can avoid dealing with this problem in the future. And just so you can just kind of tackle it all at once. All right, let's get into it. Okay, as you can see that I have ran into it before. So if you're ever having a weird issue and you don't run the exact same setup so that I do, like I run an AMD and I run a Razer Kayo right now because I can't afford a really nice camera at the moment. But so I run, uh, if you're ever having a weird issue, you can always try browsing the forums. OBS has a really amazing forums and you can find a lot of good software like I have in the past, like my multi-stream plugin and all of that stuff I actually found on here and I later seen it on a lot of uh, videos after. But a good way to start, so we're just gonna start on a clean desktop, uh, but as you can see, mine is working, but I'm gonna show you a couple things to check. So if you're running an AMD software like I am, uh, AMD software, a GPU like I am, so there's a quick little trick that actually happens a lot, and I ran into it a lot earlier on, and I couldn't figure out what was causing the issue, and I finally figured it out not long ago. So if you hold Alt plus R, you can get into the screen, where you can then go to your settings, but you need to go to be sure you're on the record and stream tab. Scroll down and you'll see video capture device. Be sure you have this set to another device if you have possible. Sometimes you can't. So if you ever run into this being your issue, uh, so like for instance, if you run instant replay like I do, I always have it on even though I'm streaming just in case because I know there's a replay buffer in OBS, but I like using Relive since I prefer so sometimes that can cause an issue. What I'll do then is I will disable instant replay for a moment while I make sure all it works on OBS and then I can turn it back on and I won't run into the issue. I am fortunate enough to, I every once in a while will use my phone as a webcam. That's where I have Droid Cam. If you want to see a tutorial on that, I can always make that as well. But so I set that to Droid Cam source so I don't have to worry about using my webcam. Solution number two is a kind of just to tell you if something else is using it or if your webcam itself is defective, which believe it or not, I've actually ran into forums a lot, that being the issue. So here's how you check that. So what you do is for instance, me, uh, you go into the software that you're using. Mine is Razer. So we're gonna go into Razer. And I've already done this cause I tried making a little video of this and I didn't like how it turned out before. So as you can see, my camera is currently be used by another application. So I know that is my issue. Uh, if I hit pre-connect, it's gonna bug out OBS, but that is a good way. So like usually the preview will be off. You just turn it on. As you can see, you can see me there for a second. But so that's a good way to test that. And then if you have some, don't have Razer um, and you don't have software, because I know some of these webcams don't come with software. If you go into your settings, and you go to camera you can see right now that it is saying it is telling me it's currently in use by obs so if it's you see something else here some devices don't some apps won't show up here and won't tell you i don't know why but i've seen some apps that have had happened to happen to me in the past where it did that so what you do is you can just turn this off and back on and sometimes that'll allow obs to capture it first um and then if all else fails, you can, and believe it or not, I have seen this so many times. I don't want to move my OBS setup because that'll, uh, it'll mess things up. So let me grab source here. So go to properties of my webcam. So as you can see, uh, me right here, a lot of times, believe it or not, people, it'll just pick a different OBS source. I've seen it to where it'll use OBS virtual camera as your camera, which as you can see, if I do that, it just breaks. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, that that can be a lot of your issue too. So I would check these options. A really short video, but I hope you did enjoy and I hope this did help you. If there's any other tips or issues you're running into, you want me to try to investigate, I can definitely give those a shot. Just keep in mind, I am an AMD user and I really don't have any plans to switch to NVIDIA, but I'm also out here. So I also have an OBS settings guide. Um, I plan on updating that here soon. 
but check that out. I'll leave it to as a link to it in the description below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.